Hi, and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're gonna take a look at the G.I. Joe clutch with vamp number 112. And let me just tell you, this box is way heavier than I think I was expecting it to be. And it's a fairly large box. Um, so we're gonna take a look at this. Listen, I don't know if I'm gonna be the first to flood YouTube with my review, but you can damn well be sure we're going to flood YouTube with the vamp review. So anyway, here it is. We've already seen this picture, and as you can see, we have the ferret and the ferret driver in the back. I love this window packaging here. It really does call back to what we got as a kid. Um, obviously, this looks a little bit different because it is classified, but this does give you that feel of what we had back then. But if you haven't seen the artwork, you can check it out on Hasbro Pulse. But the Jeep looks absolutely wonderful. The Vamp. I don't want to call it a Jeep. A Jeep is an actual brand. Uh, you got the 50 cals. You got the clutch hanging off there. So it looks awesome. Side artwork looks amazing. Uh, I love how he has the wrench. You can see the tattoos. There you got your QR code to hell. Uh, you can see what it is. Again, maybe you read that. I don't bother reading that. So... There's everything that he comes with. And again, this is available only on Hasbro Pulse. And this is the first mid-sized vehicle that is going to be readily available that's not a HasLab, I guess. That's the best way to put, put it. So uh, mid-sized vehicle. Let's take a look at it. Because uh, no one wants to look at this. We want to get this thing open. So before we do, listen, if you like this content, I told you there's a lot of Joe stuff coming. Take a second. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a video. Now let's take a look at this. Okay, so I got it out. I pulled everything out already. You do have to put the wheels on, and they do specifically talk about, well, Lenny talked about how the wheels go. So the best way that I'm able to look here is that if you take it and you look at how these wheels are supposed to go, how the tread looks, you can line it up best this way, right? So you kind of look there. And I'm, I'm looking more at the, uh, the the triangles that are right there. And there you go. So I'm just going to kind of put these to the side. And then I'll pop them on. Knowing that I'm going to be looking at it popping them on from the back. Um, now I do have the original vamp. And I do have uh, another vamp that I will compare them to. As you can see, it has its wrap on it so it doesn't get destroyed and we got another locker box so there's lots of stuff in it and let's see clutch 112 upside down star upside down nobody cares but not gonna lie i really do like i hated that thing i like the ease of popping out all of the stuff so just Looking at everything, and that's nice. They put this in. They did this with the Hiss tank, too, so hopefully that will keep it straighter. So we can probably see this is just going to pop right out. And since I have this in hand, we'll just quickly take a look now. These do come off, and if you were wondering, yes, they are the exact same machine guns. All right, so you can use it. Unfortunately, there's not going to be anywhere if you remove them matter of fact wow they don't even have the bottom at all so technically yeah technically they're not even supposed to be removed you can't take off the back either so there is a difference um they're molded they have the same mold except for they don't have the bottom and the handle which if you have soldier you know pops off but you can't just pop this off and use it on a tripod it is completely different so that still leaves this peg for something else that i'm assuming they're going to use that for all right so very interesting these are still separate so technically these spin but they're not supposed to they just plug right in so We'll quickly take a look at this. We've seen 
the guns. I don't really understand why you have the butterfly. I would have preferred them put a, a, just a regular handle on it if you are going to get someone up there to fire this. Now, hopefully they'll make some sort of tripod that this can pop onto, that you can pull that off. Uh, hell, this almost looks like it's someplace where they can stand, but it's not. Um, but you do have a spot. You kind of look at it. It's, it looks like it's supposed to be like the metal that goes across it. So you can cock the guns back, load them. Obviously, you have a spot where the bullet belt's going to go into. All right. We got our two canisters, which, if you remember, came with the original. No hole on the bottom. That's nice. So they have the X, which is very similar. I should probably grab this and show it off. Don't really need to show you the 50 cal because that looks nothing the same. So here's the canisters. I thought they had, man, oops. I thought they had an X, but they don't. Again, as I was talking about the openness, but you can carry it. Got a spot obviously to pour. So you can get a lot of shots with this. Tampoed already on here that this is flammable. They're obviously going to look the exact same. All right. We got our shovel. Looks nice. Um, it's actually more of a rigid. I mean, it's flexible, but it's more of a rigid uh, shovel. So not bad. Don't need to worry about it like warping and everything. The shotgun that we've seen before. And as you can see. It is warped. Um, I mean, it, it, it's soft still, unfortunately. Again, I kind of straightened it out that quickly. So you're going to have the same thing if you're holding it. You're probably going to see it start to warp a little bit. But you got the brown, gray. It is a nice looking shotgun. Some nice detail on it. Then you're back on the stock. You got some detail. Then over on this side, you can see obviously where they're loading it. So, and I think this is actually a really good weapon for someone like him. Now, of course, am I going to use it? I don't know. I have so many weapons. I have to kind of branch off and do other weapons. Here's the pistol that he comes with. Now, this is actually, you can see, in the box. Uh, it's in his window. It does have the star. So, this, I do believe, is the Hawk one. If I'm wrong... Uh, feel free to let me know in the uh, description there. But it's got some nice, uh, nice design. You got a port for blast effects. But I thought this was the one that came with Hawk. And again, I could be wrong. If I am, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> there you have his axe. That's going to go with uh, his. Uh, Oh my gosh, this is what happens. See, you totally forget what you're talking about. It's not a flamethrower. It's a fire extinguisher. <laughs> so it's got the nice red to it. It's obviously not real sharp. It definitely is flexible and pliable. But again, it does stay up. And then you have your canister. Which looks pretty nice. A nice little detail. I can only imagine they're going to throw this on so many different... Um, Vehicles or with different troops. Nice paint apps on it. Then we got the helmet. This is not a head. This is a helmet. And we'll see how it fits on, uh, you know, not only him, but another figure. But it does have the, the teeth that are going there. Got the little X right there. It really reminds me a lot of, uh, what's that game? Halo. Even though I don't play Halo. Just kind of gives me that feel there. But you can see this is painted green or darker green. Obviously through here it is. The antenna is a little soft. But I think it looks nice. And if you buy a bunch of these and you want to troop, troop build them, there you go. Here is our canisters for our 50 mags. And I'm sure someone is going to complain that, you know, it's being loaded in the wrong way. Because they're both going to go in from either side. But again, these are toys, people, so don't get too mad about it. Bullets do not come out, but if you have other bullets, I'm going to assume. Well, I don't even have to assume. 
that you can use these bullets right here uh, if you just want to have a sheet of bullets. I'm not going to cut these out because I want them to look like they're actually coming out. We have the pack that goes in the front of the vamp. So who knows what he's carrying in there, but he's obviously carrying probably med, med supplies. But nice little paint abs to it. Again, if this was just all one color, you know, these ones don't even have it. You know, this didn't even have it. This was actually on the Vamp Mark II and the Stinger, I believe, where you have this here. Again, this day and age, if you just had it all one color, it would not look that good. But this really makes it pop. And I think once it gets on there and it's offset with the Vamp colors, I think we're going to really like it. Here we have the lights. And that little touch right there does a lot. If that was just plain, like I mentioned, it wouldn't work. Uh, even the original Joe, uh, not the Joe, but the, the Stinger, if I remember correctly, had uh, little pieces. The Moray had that little piece. So the blue looks really nice. It's pretty solid too. So you got three of them. So you kind of play around with them. If you want to make your vamp a little bit more than what the original was. Here's our wrench, which I gotta say, they did really good giving some really small paint apps in these spots here. You even got the hole there, so you can find some little wire if you want and you kind of hang it or 3D print something. Let's say like this over here, so you can hang all your tools. Matter of fact, I might have to do something like that. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> and then you got your oh shit handles. I love that they put these on here. Uh, it will make it so you can hang, you can put your figures on here. So you have your oh shit handles. And then you have what I always thought was some sort of gun. That piece right there. So I believe that's a gun. Maybe it's where you fuel, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's in the... What is it? The, uh, the blueprints that I definitely no longer have. So. And now let's get to our figure really quick. And then we can get to the vamp. Alright, so there's Clutch. Look at that face. His helmet is already the reuse. Not already, but it is the reuse of what we just saw with Grunt and with the Action Soldier. All one color. I don't really have a problem with it, but I will say this with the Action Soldier, with this painted, it really does just pop just a bit. So it looks like we got a new vest, more of an OG looking vest here. We gotta pull that out front so we can compare it. All right, so. That is a wonderful head sculpt. Man, they are, some of their head sculpts are so amazing, and it makes you say, what happened to Falcon? Like, what happened to Falcon? Um, look at that hair. Really, oh, man, this is just designed so nice. Eyes are looking straight for the most part there, right? He's got the U.S. flag on his shoulder. Holster up here. I love the brown. The, uh, the strap that's holding on his plate carrier. All his little pouches. Here it looks like we have a flashlight, a pen. That must be a spot I'm assuming for his wrench. Alright, and a couple other little pouches. That is Roman back there. Look at the back. Nice piece right up here. I'm impressed with this figure. So, this is right out of the box. And, ooh, tight shoulders. Definitely tight shoulder. So, I might want to heat it up again. I'm in Michigan, but it is in the 50s right now. Okay, there you go. T pose perfect. Nice. Man, these figures feel really smooth. Uh, all the figures that I've recently done, they seem smooth, which is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. You got your you got your ab crunch. Um, again, uh, 
I don't know what, I, I don't really have an issue that they're a little wobbly, right? Because they kind of click and also this is going to keep it in place. But it is a problem that they are as loose and wobbly as they've been. And it seems like this has kind of been a problem going forward. So he does twist back and forth perfectly fine. And there's this tattoo of, I got my glasses on, so I'm too close. A couple of flags. I don't know if he's a racer. So if you know what that is, please tell me what it is. I have no clue. All right. Jean-Claude Van Damme. This one's good. This one, this is impeding it. So it's not an issue with him doing it. Drop down hips. Now, this may be a figure that when I've said, hey, I don't really care about drop-down hips, you may really need it because you need to fit them in there. There you go. With his... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> his thigh swivel. Pinless joints there. Boot cut. Again, these figures feel really good. Um, you know, I thought the original figures that came out... A couple design issues, but they didn't feel bad. Then they kind of got sloppy for a bit. Now I feel like, hey, we have the money in our budget. This this needs these need to be done at the, at the proper factory. All right. So there is our grunt. Looking at him quickly. Got a nice little watch right there, which we've seen a bunch of times. So let's compare him to the original one, because. That's what a lot of people actually want to see. So we're going to take this pistol. Fit right up in here. Now it is kind of long. I think you could have used a shorter one. I'll probably find a, a shorter pistol to use. But comparing these two. Look at that. Full beard. Now they could only do so much in the 80s with the O-ring. So the hair doesn't look nearly as good. This one looks... Man, it looks like someone, and I just cannot put my my finger on who I think that looks like. But they got the brown down the middle. They got the, the pistol, the holster right there. Short sleeves. No U.S. flag, but I definitely don't have a problem with putting our flag on their shoulder. Got a tattoo over on this side of a pinup girl, which a little risque there, uh, Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> now they left the strap over here brown where it was black on the original you got the strap that goes across got rid of the uh, brown boots went with the black but they did leave some brown right in the front no knee pads on this you do have the shoulder or the the thigh pads that go on the side so all in all a pretty good recreation of the figure you can't, I don't know, I, if you're complaining about this, then that's kind of on you. You got some magazines in the back there. All right, now let's get to what everyone has been waiting for, and that is the actual, actual vehicle. So, if you had the His Tank, then you know, I told you this thing is heavy, holy crap. I swear it feels heavier than, so this just comes right off, right? It actually sticks on the inside. It's to help prevent scratches and everything. All right. So what I had mentioned was we're going to take these wheels. You definitely want to look at this if you want them to go on properly. So quickly looking at that, you see how that triangle is? And then you see how the triangles are, right? If I messed up, then guess what? You're going to see it all on camera. So these two ones are the same, right? And then these two look like that. So they're the exact opposite. I don't really know why they did this because if you've ever bought tires, they don't really do that. So, and they are rubber. So all you're going to do is take it. I'm going to pop right on. And that's it. You just snap right on no problem and Lenny did say there is I mean if you're trying to get it off it's going to be difficult so you'd actually have to pry the tire off 
and there you go now it has no front suspension they do seem pretty loose i feel like that's as far as it goes i mean this sticks out so the tires do seem pretty loose that kind of worries me that over time that could start to cause a problem all right here we have our pouches here i don't have my box anywhere close to me does it go a specific? Oh, yeah. So it's even coated. There's the big ring right up here. Now, the reason why they're doing this is the Vant Mark II. Look at the suspension. The Vant Mark II and the Stinger have different pieces up there. There's our. And it's supposed to go face down. All right. The Stinger. The Vent Mark II, the Vent Mark One even was different. The what I always thought was a machine gun. This makes me think differently, but I don't, if you guys know what this is, I would love to know. I have no idea, and I'm just going back from when I was a kid that I always felt that it was um, a gun. All right, look at this. Got little hooks. This moves up. They're a little tight, but man, I put a lot of detail into this. You got a windshield. That windshield, I love the fact that they put the windshield on it. This thing is, it's, I don't know, man. It is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, and not in a bad way. That is for sure. So. Here's your turret for your machine gun. And someone is probably screaming right now that this piece here that I talked about is for the ammo. I'm going to plug this ammo in here. I have a feeling you're going to need a little bit of sticky tack to um, hold these in place. Because you can already see that it's kind of bending it. And just look at the box, and yep, that is how it's going to sit. So maybe over time it goes down, but just take a little bit of sticky tack. I wouldn't use glue or anything like that. If you don't know what sticky tack is, just go to Rite Aid, CVS, Walgreens, wherever you are. You can get a little bit of sticky tack. It's hang poster. So, your oh shit handles. Which I like. I think it's going to be easier than trying to pry a hand open. They can just not hold on to this. Pop this up here. Now, I do believe, actually I know for a fact, this window comes down. Because we saw the soldier firing his M60 out of that while uh, our clutch, well, while clutch was driving it. Alright, so now you have your lights. So if you want to pop the lights on, maybe you don't like the lights. If you don't like the lights, you don't have to put them on. Alright, they just go on like so. Though those things want to be pushing down. So am I missing something? There we go. So lots of lights. All right. Got the lights in the front. Boom. Look at that. All right. So. Woohoo! And then here we go on the back. We got our canisters. You don't want to run out of gas while you are in Iraq or behind enemy lines, right? So there you go with that. Now, does the axe go somewhere? Looking at it right here. Oh, actually, so the canisters. Actually, the canister, I don't know. It says the canister is supposed to go there. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Maybe I put these on wrong. Yeah, it looks like I put these on wrong. Let's go like this. I guess you can kind of play around with it. It's not like they sit there and... But... They look like they put them down on the bottom, but I don't see why they wouldn't go right up here. 
I guess this kind of makes more sense. Then there's not as many bullets in the way. But I still think you're going to want to use a little bit of sticky tack just so you can uh, get this set. All right. I'll deal with that a little bit later. So you can kind of see here how I did it. All right. I'm going to have to fix that. But looking at this, it looks like there's, I mean, they pretty much say they're supposed to go right down here. And unless if I'm missing something, they don't sit there. <laughs> they seem like they should fit right up there. So. All right. And then quickly here. So the axe goes across here. Now I know on pulse, you can pretty much see where everything goes. So if you are having a problem, go ahead, open up pulse, see where everything goes. All right. So the axe goes there. And then I do remember that this goes underneath here and probably removing that would make it a little bit easier but there we go pops right into place so you got your fire extinguisher right behind him all right so there we go it's armed up let's look at everything here there's not too much other than how they're saying, I don't know how they're saying that they push it down. So I feel like I'm definitely missing something. And I, don't, I might have to come back to this to figure out what they're talking about. But if you look here with the guns, it looks like you're supposed to push them down, but then you couldn't be able to turn the turret. So. Maybe I'm just missing something altogether, which is a good possibility. You guys have watched this channel more than enough. Listen, this video is already almost a half hour. So now let's take a look, review this, compare this to the original vamp. And looking at it, I see you can see the size difference. Um, they did a really nice job. What they actually did here, if you look, they put grooves across it. So that's to protect the lights from actually being broken. This, I guess we never really knew, but that's exactly what it was doing. Here's our winch and our caution. They put it on for us. And they did say it is a working winch. Uh, no more of that either. So you have the winch that comes out all the way. And then right up here, you can just turn it. So this is going to be awesome. Like... <laughs> This is so much fun. You can do so much stuff. You can hang this thing over. Picking a figure up. Oh, I love it. So much fun. And it looks like they have like... What looks like what is supposed to be a chain there. So a lot of little details into it. You have your United States. And now again, they gave what I believe is the gun. And I'm going to grab this other one here. So we can kind of get a better look. So they went with something that has a little bit more. You have your, your shovel on it. Uh, it looks like almost a camping gear. Again, what I always thought was the gun. The United States is right across it there. They finally did give it a windshield, which I did show you. It just pushes up and down, so it pops into place. Lights. If you don't want to use the lights, you don't have to use the lights. But I love the fact that they did give it a windshield. It would have been really rough running around without one but you can do stuff like that looking at the side now i'm not i'm not gonna lie i look at the originals here and this just looks kind of cheap doesn't look bad but compared to these where they're actually indented i just think look way better personal opinion so you do have the wheel flares that go around it give it a lot of look to it. They added rear view mirrors. They actually do have a mirror to it. I don't know if you can see my you can see my finger there, right? 
So that looks awesome. They got rid of the United States on the side. Procedures. Put the uh, the number on it. Danger, G.I. Joe. They had the flag over here. I love that they... I, I, I do like that they use this. That they incorporated that into um, being canon. So, the guns, again, completely different. So here you have the... Uh, the brake lights, I don't know why I can't think here. The brake lights here, again, they are covered. They are there to protect. You can look at the grooves here, the slots. They are the same as what you got over here. Guns are completely different. Of course, you don't have this cool action like you used to. Look at that. Mine still works. Listen, that type of stuff is so cool. <laughs> um, yeah, like the torrent pops out, so... I have to play with that a little bit. And I think this, I think it looks really nice on, on top of it. Here on the back, you got stand away. You do have your uh, hitch, which they specifically talked about on the HMS, that it's going to raise up and down. So coming over on this side, uh, they put a little piece up here. Here's your gas tank. So you do have a place to actually put your gas. Again, oh shit handle, the U.S. flag. And no, that is not wrong. Because when it is not the way you normally look at, a, a, at the United States flag, but this is not wrong. Because the reason why the stripes are going that way, and you have the stars here, is because the U.S. does not run away. It runs to the battle. So technically, it's going this way. The flag is going that way. That is why... You see the flag like that on soldiers. And if someone ever tells you that it's wrong, look it up and you'll find that out. All right. Getting onto the inside here. Again, if we remember the original, you don't have too much. All right. They did give you a nice little dash as a kid. And uh, if you still have this, it's worth a little bit more. But what they do for this one here. Wow, I don't even know how to. They put so many little gadgets in there. You got a shifter for it. Now, there are no cup holes, so I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Like, if you don't have cup holes, you know, or cup holders, you know, I don't know. I don't know how much Red Bull you're drinking on a, a mission against uh, Iraq. Why do you keep saying Iraq? Because I'm still living in 1991 for Desert Storm. <laughs> um, and then you definitely have handle that does turn does the shifter move the shifter does does move so again you're you're gonna be able to get some really nice shots here um, it is hard to see exactly what the cluster gauge is saying you got different colored seats so it just it pops I think they did a very fine job with this See, there's not, I didn't know if there was a cover on that. But you can see that better. And then we get to this side. You got a radio. Looks like maybe a tape deck. That'd be really cool if it's just a tape deck. You got your flashlight in here. I'm telling you there's a flashlight. Or actually, I think that's actually supposed to be a flashlight. It is embroidered onto it. But everything, I mean, there's only so much that you can... And you can only show, I can only show you guys so much while I'm trying to do this. <laughs> like, it is, wow, just so much. Um, so quickly, take a look at this. I did forget to take his wrench. And from what I do believe, the wrench is supposed to slide right down there. So you can hold the wrench. So here we have the helmet, and it is a pliable helmet. This is something Lenny talked about. So... If you buy multiple, listen, if you're buying multiple, all you're going to do is maybe remove the watch if you want. I probably wouldn't because the cuff. Remove the tattoo, pop the figure apart in some heat, remove the vest so you just have a regular green shirt and then throw the helmet on. Maybe throw a different head on. So, there we have that head. And our soldier... 
There's our soldier. But let's try someone like airborne. Now, I don't know. So this is really big. <laughs> wow. Everyone has a small head. That is like wobbly on airborne. You need some sticky tack. It doesn't look bad. I mean, it does because it's over airborne. But that's... Wow, that is... That's unique. Sorry. Trapped this. Oh, so everyone has a smaller head. FYI for everyone. But you could put it on there. Let's grab this snow job. My custom. And it's not going to fit on his big old hair. There's a lot of hair on that bad boy. All right. So how does it look? How can we fit a figure in it? Well, let's get our clutch. We're going to go through the top, I'm assuming. Fit them in right on the top here. And he fits in real nice. So, going to have to mess with some of the bigger figures. Oh, you know, we didn't even look at the bottom. So even on the bottom here, they give you a little bit of detail. There's the transmission, the mufflers. Look at that. So even like the original, um, the original Joes, they would do stuff like that. So here you go. You can see exactly how, how the suspension works. So, but the wheels are a little wobbly. Hopefully it's not that bad. Hopefully this plastic is going to survive and stick around. Now, here's how the oh shit handles are supposed to work. At least this is how I would assume. This is how they expect this to work. You're not going to peg a figure on here. That sounded awful. But I think more or less what you're going to do is... back here you grab the handle you're gonna press both his feet underneath it and he's gonna rise somewhat his hand is stretched out from holding this so but you more or less want to hold them they would be holding it like this now the oh shit handles yes they're supposed to be for the person in the car but if you really want to do a bunch of shots i think this is how you're going to work on holding them holding on to it right now i just threw it in there really quick but that looks pretty good it's going to be better once you get the arms and everything situated properly so throw up the glass hopefully it's bulletproof but who knows? It's G.I. Joe. I mean, it should be laser proof. Anyway, there you go. I'm very impressed with this. Again, kind of got to fix this, but we'll get all that situated. All right, let's wrap this up because, wow, it's been 35 minutes, 36 minutes looking at this. All right, so that's my review of the vamp. I don't know. How do you think it compares? Let me grab it. I like this. I mean, it's $100. Probably not going to find it go on sale too often. It is a big, meaty vehicle. It is thick. It is heavy. It is not, it does not feel breakable. It does not feel like the old, like the old ones. I mean, it feels like they use some really nice um, plastic. And if you have it, like if you get it, tell me in the comments, tell everyone in the comments what you think, because I don't want people thinking like, oh, wow, they're just, they're just shilling for this. I'm being hundred percent honest, like not what I was expecting. Uh, when I opened up the Hiss, it was way lighter than I thought it was going to be because of the box. This is way heavier than I thought it was going to be. Um, that bottom is nice and solid, but the figure looks amazing. He fits in there easily. Now we'll, we'll, uh, gung-ho roadblock would they be able to fit i don't know they might be, be too big as it is for something like this but wow this is good man like this says you know as much as i complain the vehicles where am i gonna put them i'm like give me a stinger right now um give me the vent mark two give me an all straight like i'm like calm down larry man you don't need all that stuff yet anyway i'm gonna get out of here this is my vamp review and 
early on, I'm happy. I'm excited. I can't wait to mess around and play with this thing uh, a bit more. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here. But listen, you stayed this long. I'm going to ask you really quick. Take a second. Jump on Instagram if you're on Instagram. A punk with toys. I also have a punk with underscore toys. I'm going to do them both. A punk with toys is the main one. The other one I'll probably be taking more pictures with. Facebook group page, Punks with Toys. You can better believe we're going to be talking about this because once you join, you're a punk with toys. And last but not least, you stayed here this long. Take a second, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, and hit that subscribe button. I did it out of order, which really screws everything up. I got it in my head. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here. But listen, don't go anywhere. What I want you to do right up here is going to be the latest Airborne classified and here's the classified playlist of all the figures that I've done. Take care.